What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Panda here and like I said in the last video, we are back to our regularly scheduled videos. Today we're going to do something a little bit interesting. Um, I've done this on the channel in the past and that is just kind of go through some gear stuff. Um, so we've got some gear raid uh, reset just happened with the gear dungeons one and two um, and so I have some currency to you know sort of craft some of those special gears we're going to do that we're going to see what we can do maybe upgrade some gears uh, mainly because we do have the tales of the smith event going on and I want to go ahead and max that out so we're going to go ahead and do that in this video let's dive right in And welcome back to the video, guys. So, like I said, we do have the um, Tales of the Smith event. I've already done a little bit of it, but I want to get these 15 Helga shards to put us up to 120 shards, uh, which will get us much closer to the um, actual summon of Helga, which I'm really excited about. And, of course, we also we just want to work on some gear. So, um, I did go through, and I noticed that I had... Um, quite a few actually of the sanguine fabrics and the smoldering scales uh, so I figured you know let's just go ahead and pop some of these see if we can get lucky and get some uh, some pieces um, so let's go ahead and just start with a 10 pop here hopefully we can get something lucky uh, these are left side pieces so we're always going to have good main stats we're just looking for some decent sub stats uh, so if you look here this is actually a perfect piece I love this we're definitely locking that. That is a triple DPS stat piece. Um, unfortunately, the crit rate is the last option, um, but that's still fantastic. Then over here, we have another triple stat piece. Again, unfortunately, there's no crit rate on this one, uh, but these two pieces together could actually be pretty decent. Um, as long as I have a good chunk of crit rate on my right side gear. So we could end up having a, a good set there. Uh, here we only have one DPS stat, so that's going to be a sell. Here we have two. We're going to keep it just because if this crit rate rolls really high, it could be worth it. Same thing for this one. Uh, here we're going to sell that, no crit rate. Here we have the healing effect set. And this is actually a, pr a relatively okay piece. We've got attack speed um, with attack bonus, so it could be an attack based uh, set. We'll go ahead and keep that one again just because it's a piece I don't have a lot of here we have a potentially defense based healer set uh we'll keep that as well just because healing effect attack and maybe if we have a defensive healer could potentially be beneficial there uh here we go we're gonna sell that just because there's no percent bonus here we've got attack and attack bonus that could be could be potential definitely not bad could could have some viability we got six single pulls and then we'll go ahead and start leveling some gear up. Maybe promote some stuff. Uh, I'm not going to keep that one. Got a couple more of the left side gear. Not going to keep that one. I'm looking for stuff with crit rate um, for those DPS sets. So we could keep that one. It's attack and attack bonus. Um, so definitely some possibilities there. Here we have attack speed, but no other real stat that makes sense. Two more on the left side gear. Hopefully we can get something good. Nope. One more, and then we'll move to the right side gear. Uh, okay, attack and attack bonus. We'll keep that, just because it could be potential. All right, so we have almost two full temples for the right side gear. Let's see if we can get lucky. Come on, give me something good. We're going to immediately sell all the flat stats, of course, um, because there's really no point in keeping it, which unfortunately was basically all of this gear, um, but it is what it is. Let's see what we got here. So we have the Hell's Lament with attack bonus, and it has crit rate and flat attack. So not the greatest piece, but it does have crit rate, so we'll keep it around. Here we have morale. I'm gonna keep this because it's a it's a percent based stat, um, and it has some relatively good sort of tanky defensive stats here, uh, which could be beneficial. All right, we got nine single pulls that we can do here. Uh, unfortunately, that's a flat main stat. We're not gonna keep that. Give me one really good piece. Not the greatest, but we'll keep it. 
Come on, baby. Give me something good here. Attack speed. This is unfortunately a damage reduction one. And I just I just can't I can't convince myself to keep a non-HP or defense percent. Wow, okay. So this is actually pretty good because it's ancient right off the bat. Um there are some HP damage HP percent damage dealers. Um so we could get some viability of this HP percent. Um maybe putting on on one of like uh what is it Rourke could be potentially really good um or like a wrath or someone that you want to keep alive we're definitely going to keep that just because it's ancient because there could be some potential there uh, morale uh, we'll keep this one as well we could put this on like a secondary dps like maybe someone like a pyros for example who like you want to have some dps stats but you're not worried too much about their damage you don't necessarily need to have you know uh a damage set you could use this for extra bonus so could be a potential piece there what else we got unfortunately we get a flat stat there i'm really looking for the damage reduction set um morale we'll keep this as well because it's a percent main stat um and we've got some healing effect attack bonus attack rage regen it's actually not terrible two more pulls here hp bonus uh with defense bonus defense attack and attack bonus so not the greatest but it is hp bonus in the hp set so i will keep that because that's actually a pretty decent start to a piece and unfortunately that is a sell hmm. Ooh, sorry about that got a little bit of a yawn in there let's go ahead and take away the enhanced um, and let's go ahead and level up some of this gear. So this one I think is definitely worth leveling up just to see what we can get. It's actually not a bad piece. Attack speed is pretty nice. Defense and HP are a little low, but I do really want some morale sets. So we'll go ahead and that's ah, rolled terribly, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll that one. Let's see if we have any other good right side. Here's an HP percent guardian. Uh, I'm not going to get rid of it, but I don't think I want to roll any more of that right now. Um, let's check this middle part. Here we go. So we're going to definitely roll this 16 because I, I keep all of my ancients and I roll them always just roll them straight to 16. This is a pretty decent piece. I wish this crit rate was a little bit higher. Um, but I definitely can't be mad. Triple DPS sub stats. I think that'll be a good piece on somebody, for sure. Uh, just unsure who it will be good on. But it could definitely be good on somebody, for sure. Um, let's see. So this has crit rate on it, so we're going to roll it. Didn't get a really good crit rate roll, so that is in the bin. Um, let's see if this rolls any good on these defensive stats. Okay, it rolled pretty good. We get something good on the flat attack. All right, we'll definitely go ahead and roll this one up then because this is a very good potential piece for someone that like you want to keep alive, but you also want them to be able to do a little bit of damage. Makes sense. Uh, here we have a... Ooh, okay. Come on, baby. Give me huge crit rate. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. That's not bad. This is definitely a piece for someone, like I said before, like a Pyros or um, a Mari, right? Like someone who you want to be able to deal a little bit of damage, uh, but you're not worried about like them being in Soulbound Arcana or something like that, right? Definitely some possibilities there. Do we have anything else we're looking to roll? Not right now. We have some other sets that we sort of want to work on. Uh, but nothing crazy and then over here we have this one right here give me some good crit rate <sighs> it's not great but i don't want to get rid of it yet we'll see we'll see what happens um what else do we have nothing really else there let's check left side gear uh so this was one of the pieces we really wanted i really hope this rolls really good ah uh. I feel like this is one of those pieces that I'm going to keep, though, just because it's a triple roll. 
and it could potentially be something that I end up going and like re-rolling, even though it's only a triple. Let's see, that's not worth keeping. Let's see what else we got here. Here is a crit rate. Let's just go ahead and roll the crit rate. See how whole oh, baby. We're keeping that for sure. I don't care. I'm rolling it all the way to 16. That's ginormous. That's a huge crit rate roll. That's fantastic. Um, okay, so here we've got healing effects with defense, defense. Not worth keeping. We'll go ahead and sell that piece. Um, I'm not going to roll that one quite yet. Let's see. We'll go ahead and roll this one. See if this rolls decent. It does not, so it's a sell. I um, actually don't think this one is worth keeping at all. Let's just sell that one right off the bat. Uh, here's attack speed, attack bonus, and healing effect. So this is viable. Didn't really roll worth it, though. And then attack speed, attack bonus, healing effect. Same thing here. Didn't roll good enough. Uh, so this one's actually kind of worth it because uh, it's not. it didn't roll well. But to give you an idea of why that's worth it, let me find an attack-based healer. So this is an attack-based healer. Um, and if you click here, it will actually say that it restores HP based on the target's max HP and the caster's attack. So this is important because um, you, if you have your healers, specifically in Wasteland Titan is what I'm talking about here, but it is helpful in other places as well. If you have your healers actually having a good chunk of HP, you'll actually end up getting more heals out of your attack based healers if they have pieces that have hp on them right so that's kind of why you want to keep those types of pieces um here we've got a, another good attack based healing set that actually didn't roll too bad let's see what the defense bonus rolls didn't roll great but let's go ahead and take it to 16 because if this is a big attack bonus roll that's nice okay we'll definitely keep that one hanging around for the time being we love that. Here's another one we'll take to 12. See if we get some good stuff. Good attack speed. Healing effect's not the greatest, but I think it's worth rolling and seeing what we get in the attack bonus. It's not, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Uh, we got another one of those pieces. Same stats here, and it's got an HP roll. That's pretty good. Come on, give me a gold attack. Okay, unfortunate the attack percent didn't roll good, uh, but that is still a really good piece though. Um, with three purple rolls and it's got four attack attack based healing pieces uh, or stats, right? Because again, HP is still really good on attack based healers. Um, all right, let's check out the bottom parts here. So uh, let's roll this and see if the attack bonus rolls really well. Uh, it didn't roll amazingly. I'm not going to keep that. Um, same thing here. Let's see if we can get a good attack roll. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll keep that. We'll keep that. It's definitely not bad. Uh, could be good on someone like maybe, um, like an Artemis, right? Who you actually kind of want to deal some damage. The crit rate's kind of helpful. That's unfortunately just terrible rolls. Not worth keeping. Uh, let's see if the attack bonus rolls really good. We just hit level 89. Um, we're farming in the background, so that would be why that popped up. Same thing here. Attack bonus didn't roll great, so that's a sell. Uh, I'm not going to roll that one yet. We'll just roll this to four, and if it rolls well, then we'll, we'll go. And uh, it didn't roll good at all. That's a sell. Uh, okay, let's check here. So we're going to roll this to 12. Even though this doesn't have crit rate, it could pair really well. We'll take that one to 16. Nice. Not the greatest piece, but it is a viable piece. Um, do I have anything better? Let's see if this rolls decent here. Give me some good... That's pretty good. We'll take it to 16. That's pretty good. I like I like big defense rolls. Um, not the greatest piece in the world, but uh, definitely not bad. 
Here is beautiful. Come on, roll me huge crit rate over here. Ugh. The worst piece. All right, let's see. Here we've got some healing pieces in an attack speed set. Didn't roll good enough. Uh, same thing. Let's roll to 12. Didn't roll good enough. Got a couple more here. This one's crit rate, crit damage. This is a DPS type set. Eh, not good enough. Let's keep going. Here we go. Could take this one to plus 12. It's just not, it's just, it's not, it's not giving us the good stuff today. We're not getting anything crazy, crazy good. Um, I'll roll this to 12 because it could be a potential like Constance or Dolores piece, but nope. Um, okay, let's see where that puts us in the event because there's a good chance that that actually got us completed oh wow we actually we actually went over so my bad on that one but uh, that completes our tales of the smith event which is good we do of course still have corridor of glory to do uh, which i guess we could maybe see what we could probably do a pretty good chunk of right here um we've got we're farming xp in the backgrounds um so let's just go ahead and let's get this out of the way because i want to get this completed we don't have anyone that we're trying to build right at this moment, uh, but we do want to get to 10,000 because we want to get that extra skill crystal. And we are currently skilling up Ajax. Ajax is our skill up target. Um, so unfortunately, we did max the basic before maxing everything else. So we are going to have to go all the way on him, but that is okay. It's definitely not the end of the world. Um... But yeah, I think that that's probably going to do it for me. We are at 17 minutes, um, but I, I, I wanted to kind of give you just some like some of the daily gameplay that I do, you know, when I do certain events, um, give you a little bit of insight in sort of what happens in like behind the scenes. Um, so let me know if you like this kind of video and we'll we'll keep it going. We'll keep it coming. We'll do more stuff like this with just kind of like regular day to day gameplay. Uh, as you can see here, we are farming in the backgrounds. Um, but yeah, I think that that's going to be it for me today. If you guys liked the video, please make sure to go hit that like button, um, as well as also go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I know that I've been a little Mia the last few weeks, but we are back to at least daily videos, five Watcher of Realms videos per week, maybe even more in some certain situations, but thank you guys so much for hanging out. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.